Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, a survival horror game developed by Climax Studios and published by Konami Digital Entertainment, released for Nintendo Wii in December 2009 and also ported to PS2 and PSP in 2010 and 14. The Wii version for me will always stand out as a horror favourite. You take control of protagonist Harry Mason in his quest to find his missing daughter in the fictitious American town of Silent Hill. It is, however, set in a different fictional universe from the original series. There are five endings available depending on choices made throughout. The gameplay takes place in two parts, a first person psychotherapy session and the more traditional third person view when Harry is exploring Silent Hill. The somewhat deserted town is however interrupted from time to time into a shift to an alternate nightmare dimension somewhat expected in a Silent Hill title, where Harry is chased by hostile monsters. Is this also a good time to mention that throughout this game our main man picks up no weapons? Yeah, it's one of those. The only items we use throughout are our trusty mobile phone and torch. However, our phone is pretty handy, doubling up as our GPS map, a camera to view paranormal entities not visible without, alert us to certain spots with high interference, represented by a lot of radio noise, unlocking various text and voicemail messages to help expand the story, and, well, the obvious, making phone calls. The first person psychotherapy sessions have been carried out really well. Completing psychological tests, filling out questionnaires or colouring pictures all add up to a slightly different version of the game. How you respond in these sessions actually determines the style of monsters you'll face in the nightmare world. Pretty cool, huh? The story itself isn't too stimulating, and you can complete the game in under 8 hours, which is one criticism. However, from personal experience, you're going to be spending quite a bit of time running from the monsters in the icy nightmare world, and in the Wii version, you use the remote and nunchuck to physically fling these things off your back. So you may look a bit crazy in your living room, but hey, it's definitely worth a play one evening. Pop it on and get running. You are 